All right, so we've been through here. If we go back around here, I do believe there is a hybrid over there, but we will ignore him for right now. Ah! Is there another? Fuck you! Fuck you! There we go. Got him taken care of. Damn! He got cake. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and search all these. I'm gonna pick up this audio log and see see what's up. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da <laughs> So yeah, uh... Apparently these people came back with a bunch of tumors on their heads and shit, and their hair is missing. Wonder what happened? We'll find out later. This guy hung himself, apparently. Either hung himself or he got, like, lynched in the freaking... In the sensitive electronic equipment area. Where, what even is this room? Does he even have a... Doesn't even really have a purpose to it, I guess. It's just kind of a random room. All right. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. Yay. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. So basically, what that means, what that translates out to, is that this is a respawn point. So if we die in this specific area, uh, we will respawn right here, which is quite nice. But uh, the problem with that is that whenever you die, you're, uh, you lose nanites for one, which sucks. And for another, um, it sets you back quite a bit. And if you die before you activate whatever you know you know wherever this thing is on each freaking place that you go to if you die before you get to this um yeah you you it's game over and some of these are freaking far into the areas and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass next room <laughs> i'm just kind of giving you a tour right now eventually we'll get all caught this up to speed Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. <laughs> I don't know why I find that freaking particular ghost so fucking funny, but it is. Oh, so you may have noticed I unloaded that pistol, which is something that you can do, which I fucking love. I love that you can just unload it like a badass and toss it to the side. One of my favorite things to do. Alright. I think I... Yeah, I already went through there, so... We go this way. Remember Citadel. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Alright. Oh, not, not Tau Ceti 5. What am I talking about? The hacker was on the Citadel station. That's right. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out the primary access channel. And that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? You see what I mean about the fucking cameras? Luckily, if you stand underneath of them, they can't see you. So you can just kill them like that. Now, uh, this part's a bit of a pain in the ass. If you go down there, again, another turret will pop up right there. Yep, there he is. Fuck. However, they, you know, you see that loot down there and you're like, oh, I want it so bad, but you can't have it. You can't have it. Not yet. Not until we have a little bit better uh, shit. Crew quarters. Yep, don't have that. So, <laughs> there's only one place for us to go now, which is to the medical station. So let's head there. Medical personnel only. There's another. Jesus. 
Now, kind of a cool thing about this is that if you go over here, you can see where the cameras are. And you can actually see where they're pointing, even though some of them I have already destroyed. But you can see on one of them that it's uh, the desk, I believe. Yeah, right there. So you can kind of see that, it, oh, there's a camera right there. And you can, if you go over to it, right? You hear that? Yeah, that like electrical whirring means it's right fucking there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a shot at it. Oh wait, we actually might be Jack, fine. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to there the medical go. subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. Ah, the one yep. you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. All right. Now this is something that's kind of fucking hilarious, and I love it. So this guy had an MFD game on him, and I just used the game, and you can actually play a game of Minesweeper. <laughs> Not even fucking joking. You can just play a game of Minesweeper. Hey, look at that. Doing pretty good. So we know that that's fucking... These two are sus, right? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. But yeah, just kind of a fun little thing. You can play Minesweeper if you get bored. <laughs> okay, so we need to go find a recharge station. We know where a recharge station is. We saw it earlier. If we go this way and this way, we can get to it. Now, remember what I said about those fucking turrets over here. Yeah, there's still gonna be a problem. I don't know if we can break this. Yes, you can. But, the recharge station is right there. So, how are we gonna do this? Well, there's a couple ways we can go about it. One is we can actually lure the, tur the, uh, the turrets out, and we can shoot these electrical... Um, not these electrical. These, uh... Fuck. Explosive barrels with our pistol and blow them up. Um, I'm gonna try hacking them first. Because if you hack them, you don't have to fucking waste precious bullets. You know? Which is much useful. So let's go ahead and hack it. Hack, 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 hack it up. You wanna take it up? Oh, come on, man. Just... Yeah, and hacking in this. Hacking can be one of the most fucking stressful things you can ever do in this game. Because you just sometimes don't get anything. And that's a fucking 70% difficulty, so it kind of makes sense why it's kicking my ass. So, I guess we're not going to be able to do that. I suppose we are just going to have to suck it up and, uh and try not to get shot here. This is a fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. We're good, we're good. Infraction. Come on, jump. Jump, you dumbass, jump. Why are you not wanting to jump? Hello? Fuck. <sighs> okay. So, we have some armor-piercing bullets. I didn't want to use these, but I suppose we're gonna have to. I thought those explosions were freaking take care of them, but I guess not. Go. Let's. God damn. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this dude. That take care of him? No. Of course it didn't. Ow! How are you fucking hitting me? Fuck off. There we go. 
God damn it. Okay. There's a Psy Hypo. We don't really need it, but we'll take it anyway. Just to, I guess, fill up space. Put those back in there. Alright. Reload. Okay. We've got some cyber modules. Get that. And those. Okay. We recharge the battery and now we can go back to the metal coal station. Excuse me. Oh man. But yeah, this is, so, basically, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the game. Um, I've pretty much given you the full, you know, 411 on everything that you need to know. Um, you know, you have different types of bullets that you'll come across. Some of them are anti-personnel, which is, uh, basically against, like, flesh and blood, uh, enemies, while armor piercing is more for, um... It's more for, like, you know, robots and shit. Anti-radiation hypo, we definitely want that. And we're gonna pick up this. Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and put the charge power cell into there. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, actually, can we go? Because I'm not sure how much upping our hacking will take. Um, let's go see how much. Because if I can up my hack, that would be fucking fantastic. Because then we can get into locked crates and shit, which is always nice um or we can always do cyber affinity if we can't do hacking okay there we go good so we can do hacking and we can do cyber infinity that'll work that'll make hacking easier for us to do which is very much appreciated all right let's go ahead and go to the medical station Oh, good lord. Hold on, guys. How did my Don- How did my Great Dane even get into this fucking room? Give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. Ugh, oh, fucking hell. That was a pain in the ass. Okay. My dog wanted outside, so I had to fucking wait for him. And then my other dog wanted outside, so I had to wait for him. Just a pain in the ass. Okay, let's get a move on here. Um, but yeah. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I hope that your day has been pretty good. Good. You've managed to get into med. Now find Grassi and get the keycard to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you. Intruder. 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 She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. <laughs> Intruder entering medical sector A. Damn, that guy got crushed by that door so hard his legs came off. That's messed up. Alright. Got some monkeys here that we need to deal with. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. Oh, With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Cyanex. I think the access code is in Watts's lab. Fuck off. Okay. Took of the took care of them. So here's a surgical uh u surgical unit. Uh this will actually heal us up to full health five nanites which is really fucking good however do not get used to those they are extremely rare <laughs> especially later on all right so we got some monkeys that we killed one was carrying some potato chips for whatever reason we got them and then if you go through that door there is a turret on the other side of that so don't we don't want to go through there but we will grab the medical hypos from there 
And yeah, so that's pretty much all we can. Oh fuck! That's pretty much all we uh, need to get from there. We can go up here real quick though. And check out this place. Like for example, jumping over here to get some of these nanites and jumping back, like so. All right, got some more dead monkeys, as it were. Angelum, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other. I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, <laughs> and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there is no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. <laughs> wow, what an arrogant asshole. Um, so, you guys may have noticed, I picked up a surgical unit ag activation key. What this basically does is that, um, this is an incomplete surgical unit. All I need to do is drag this to there, and it will become a surgical unit that I could use to heal myself to full health. Um, we do not want to use that, we want to keep that for as long as we can, because, like I said, uh, complete surgical units become extremely hard to find later on in the game so we want to hold on to that uh, for a very long time because <laughs> that will be very useful to us we can't go into the crew quarters yet nope so we need to go this way I do believe there's another fucking camera right down there but there is one of these guys that we can activate get some more nanites but yeah, I hope that you guys are having a good day. My day was fucking weird today. So I went to work, which is always a bad time. Um, <laughs> you might witness yeah, some it. strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. Mm -hmm. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Okay, so that's why we can see ghosts, essentially. Um, but, anyway, I was at work, which is always a bad time, because is I fucking hate work. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. We both hit a wall. Ow! Okay, so we have another fucking camera that we're gonna have to deal with. So, let me go heal. Fuck you, monkey, you piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you. Eat some chips. Alright. Yeah, I still don't have freaking research enough research skill. We'll get it eventually. Um, do I- is there a- Is there a, uh... There might be one down here. A, um, like getting rid of fucking security or a security computer somewhere around here. No? Come on, man. Come on, man. It's funny, I should know that because, you know, I've played this game a lot and I should know that, but I don't think there is one. God damn it. Usually they put those security, like, computers right before a camera or a turret so that way you can easily de like if you're good at hacking easily disable them but for some reason this is the one exception where they don't fucking do that so we're gonna have to just shoot this camera like so waste a bullet on it even though I don't like to do that but what must be done must be done I suppose we can now hack these, which is always a fun time. There we go. <laughs> Good deal. We did get some bullets, which is very much appreciated. There's another monkey in there. Alright. Come on out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so that's radiated. We don't want to go in there quite yet. We don't want to go down there because there's another fucking camera. Or there's a, I think, either a camera or a turret down there. 
Ooh, ooh, you feisty. You feisty. You bitch. Ow. Why? Why do you hurt so bad? Uh, oh, so we, we did get this, a brawn boost TM implant. It boosts our strength, so we actually will get a little bit more uh, inventory with that. So kind of nice. These fucking monkeys, dude. They're so tiny. Is this some kind of joke? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Alright. Grab that, grab that. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? <laughs> the interest of science? What about the interest of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? <laughs> the poor chimps. Oh, they come man. on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Ooh! <laughs> you little, you're a little sly one, aren't you? Show yourself again. Fucking dare you. Where the fuck did he go? Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. That was close. <laughs> okay. If we can just kill this fucking camera. If it would start moving again, that'd be fantastic. Why? Dude. Fuck off. Nope. You! What? You didn't turn that w far before, you asshole! Great. So this is what happens when uh, this shit happens. We're gonna hide up here. So you gotta wait for the fucking security uh, alarm to be shut off before you can really do anything. Um, luckily, no one can really climb ladders, so we're safe up here. At least. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my good lord. Oh my good lord. Gonna give me a fucking aneurysm. Oh my god. Just, just, just give it to me, man. Why, why are you being difficult? Why? What is the purpose? I just want to know what's in here, man. I just want to know what's in here. Hey, can you stop being a dick for two seconds? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Alright, unload that. Throw that to the ground. 48 more seconds. God damn it. Yeah, so if a camera spots you, they essentially shit down your throat by uh, <laughs> sending a bunch of enemies your way. Um, there are ways to get past this. Uh, for example, if you walk into a new area that has like a loading screen and you get captured by a camera, you can literally turn around, go through the loading screen, come back, go through another loading screen, and it will... Uh, the alarm will be shut off. That's one way to cheese it. Um, another way is to just go up here and wait for it to be done because uh, enemies can't climb. Um, so you can just sit up here and wait it out. But yeah, that's basically what happens when a camera sees you. And it's... It is highly annoying. Um, what is a drop of rain compared to the storm? What is a thought compared to a mind? Our unity is full of wonder. Is full of wonder which, which your tiny individualism cannot even conceive. Did I mention that this game has some of my favorite fucking writing of all time? Because it does. There we go. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Yay! So now we can go to the crew quarters. But, there are some other things that we need to explore first. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. 
Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. So back in that hallway, there's a turret. You don't want to run and go down there. But there is this radiation area where you can get some little, a little extra loot. Uh, you know, for, you know, getting cancer, it's not too bad. All right. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rat hypos. I'm going to pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Okay, I think that's everything. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Getting cancer, getting cancer. Okay, we're good. So yeah, um, radiation is, is, is less of a pain than toxin is. Getting... Getting toxin in your freaking shit in this game is like almost a death sentence. Um, at least getting radiated, you can you can fix that pretty pretty easily. You good? Come on, man. Come get me. I'm not going. This is Come on. Oh fuck! I didn't know there was gonna be one of you assholes down here. Oh, shit. They fucking me up. Oh. Yeah, so now we're getting introduced to those assholes. Great. So those guys have shotguns, as you could probably tell. And, uh, yeah, they love to, they love to fuck people up with them. And be just general assholes about it. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. So we got some combat armor, so that will definitely help out. Got another Psy Hypo, which is pointless because why are we carrying those around with us? But, you know, loot is loot at the end of the day, I suppose. Okay. Let's go ahead and take another medical hypo before we go into this radiated zone. There's the security control station. Not a fat lot of good that did me. Okay. That guy didn't have anything on him, goddammit. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, nope. the patient has experienced nope. numerous it. novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth there and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. Okay. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... <laughs> Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Right. Now find Dr. Watts' room. Okay. I didn't fucking hear the rest of that guy's shit, so hold on. Good. Oh, wait. You've made it into Oops. the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts' room. What I meant to do was this one. There we go. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena. Evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. Oh, if shit. I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it. <sighs> Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love yeah. to refer this to Midorsky at CDC, but unfortunately he's 67 trillion miles away. <laughs> All right, so we can go ahead and listen to this one. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planetside as a joint venture. Imagine this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Yeah, let's get drunk, boys. All right, let's go ahead and pick up all these food stuff. Um, so, yeah, bottles of, like, liquor, they'll up your health, but they'll down your psi. But since we don't really care about psi, we can just drink everything to get our health back up to normal. Hi there. Please make Select your selection. selection. Um, okay. Uh, rifled slugs. We don't really need to have any use for any of that right now. We'll go ahead and look around in here, though. 
the fuck? I thought he opened up that door. Thought he was coming. I like how many slugs you get uh, without getting a shotgun for a very long time. Come on in here, man. You big so you big you so big. God damn, I can't talk. <laughs> I was gonna say if you're so big and tough, come in here, but I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Oh man. Alright. No no matter, we killed him anyway. We got it. We got it. Uh but yeah, I had, I was having a fucking weird ass day today because it was like I woke up and I just had a five hour segment of me being awake, but like having a complete out of body experience. It was like I was high, but I took I didn't have anything. I didn't take anything. So it was like it was super weird. Uh, we gotta so this is so this is an armory that you don't come back to until like hours into the game God damn Bronson and her stupid procedures she's changed the code on the med side to sub armory again now I've got to head back up to deck four to find out what it is somebody's gonna frag her but good someday <laughs> okay so we do have a we do have a um security control station that we can mess with but for right now we're not going to do that okay so large os upgrade unit this will permanently upgrade one thing of your choice um and it's actually really fucking nice so uh we have strong metabolism damage from radiation and toxins reduced to 25 percent by 25 percent that's pretty fucking nice pharma friendly all extra 20 percent benefit from all hypos also really good um Adds three extra inventory slots. Really freaking good, pack rat. Uh, speedy movement speed increased by 15%. Pretty good. Tank increases maximum hit points by five. Uh, not so good. That one's pretty shit, actually. Cybernetically enhanced. Allows the use of two implants at once. That's only good if you're a Psy. Um. <clears throat> oh, no, I guess that... No, yeah, that... That's only good if you're a Psy. Um, naturally able, one-time bonus of eight cyber enhancement units, which is pretty good. Um, it's only a one-time bonus, though, so not really worth it. Sharpshooter, each shot with a ranged non-psionic weapon does 15% more damage. Pretty damn good. Lethal weapon increases all hand-to-hand -hand damage by 35%, which is pretty good for me, because when it comes to hybrids, that's usually my go-to method, is just to run up on them and, and start hitting. I don't like to use uh, much bullets on hybrids, because they're, they're the weakest enemy in the game. And same goes to the monkeys. A security expert, plus two hacking skill, if already have at least one point of skill applied to security computers, that would be pretty fucking nice. Um, Smasher, you can execute overhand attacks with melee weapons. Of course, my dog just had to open up my fucking door. Get up, get up there. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Alright, anyway, where were we? Okay. <laughs> Cyber assimilation, you can extract a diagnostic slash repair module from any destroyed robot. You can use this item to heal 15 hit points. That's pretty fucking good, especially later on. Um, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, replicator expert. All items in replicators cost 20% less. Um, so you get so many nanites that that doesn't really matter. Psionic burnout no longer damages you, which is pretty fucking good for Psy characters, I would imagine. Um, nanite cost for making weapon modifications is 50% cheaper. Or auto map for each sub level is also always completely filled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the. Mm. I'm gonna go for the freaking security expert because that is probably the best one that it has. So we get a plus two hacking skill uh, applied only to security computers. That is pretty good, because that is the thing that I'm going to be hacking the most. Got some cigarettes. That will down your health, but up your psi. Um, it's not really worth it. Okay, so we do have some stats that we can go ahead and 
apply here. We only have nine cyber modules, so not the greatest amount, but, you know, it's better than nothing. We can go ahead and save them up if we want to get something from, like, tech or something. Um, which might behoove us to do. Please make your selection. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously considering getting that disposable maintenance tool. But I will refrain from now because we do get them later. Uh, let's see. Maintenance. Ooh. Do I want to use that to get that? Or do I want to? Oh, I can. I can wait. I can wait to get the research one because that probably would help me out a lot more. If I can at least get some fucking research in here, like. God damn. Okay. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The yeah. glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. There we Security go. Security system offline. Yeah, yeah. Security forces have been what? <laughs> have been what now? Alright, so let's go ahead and loot this shit out of this place. Okay, there's nothing in here. Something. Okay, kill that guy. Go in here. Which I actually don't know how to get into there. That's one thing that. Oh yeah, that's right. You can hack this. Uh, fifty-five percent. We should be able to do that, right? You think? Or not. What the fuck? Come on, man. There we go. Get fucked. Got any of those na that medical kit. Suit of light combat armor. So nothing that I don't already have, but that medical kit's nice at least. There's another camera right there. Oh fuck! We seek. You bitch! I'll waste a bullet on you, I suppose, just in case you decide to come back. Alright. So you don't want to really step in these worms. They will they will give you toxin. And like I said, toxin is a pain in the ass to beat. Oh, come on, man. Ow. This is Xerxes. Remember, Fucker. replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. Let's see if this pistol... Yeah, it does. Give me your bullets and fuck off. Alright. Um, alright. Go on down. Oh, fuck. Power drain. Really? Already? Isn't here, Fuck me. So he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. Already got it, man. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Hey. Thank you. All right. There's a place up here that we can go ahead and get to. I always fuck this up. I can never get this jump right. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Huh. Oh, nope. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, we got our shotgun. First shotgun of the game. It's in fair condition. Good deal. Go ahead and reload it, and we're good to go. God damn it, dude. 
<sighs> okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Security system online. Yep. Too bad it don't matter because I destroyed all your fucking cameras anyway, Zerx. Easy piece of shit. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Strength is always nice because it kind of ups my hand to hand combat. Um, agility's not bad either. Let's maybe do. Hmm. Let me, let me let me look at let me look at let me look at the other ones that we got to work with here hack repair modify modify is pretty nice actually or research yeah let's do research and we can modify later let's do research and uh strength okay that'll work just so that way we have a little bit oh and now we can research this so now with that being researched, we'll be able to do more damage to the uh, hybrids, which is going to be very nice. <sighs> yeah, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, or like you guys can see why this is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, because it's so fucking good. It's like, it is just one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. Um, especially from a writing standpoint, it's easily one of my favorites. Um, but also just from a, like a, like a gameplay standpoint, it is a lot of fun to play. Security system offline. Alright, so we got the security system offline, let's quickly head over so we can get that loot that was getting, uh, guarded by the, um, by the turret over here. That way we don't have to worry about it. Wow, there's nothing. What a crock of shit. Alright. Can't get in there. That's fine. Well, we'll be able to grab that at least. That'll help us later at least. Man, what a waste of time. Oh well. What can you do, right? What can you do? <clears throat> Alright. Oh yeah, I think I said this. I don't remember if I said this or not. But yeah, there's there's gonna be parts of this game that will fucking frustrate the, the, absolutely, the absolute hell out of me. Um, so just be warned about that. Because there are parts of this game that I, I find wholly unfair. One of which is the is the section that we're about to go into lay down okay is there another one where's the other one man Fuck me. yeah i need to get a new keyboard like so bad you have no idea how much i need a new keyboard soon soon i'll be able to buy one Ugh, but yeah, this this keyboard is a uh, is all fucked up that I have, like the the space bar sticks and shit. So like it's it's hard to jump. It's, uh, yeah. Might as well just do that real quick, just to get rid of them. All right. Try getting into here real quick. Of course. Of course. There we go. There we go. Got plenty of nanites from that. Alright. Into research and development okay. we go. Please make your selection. Uh, there's nothing really there. Let me do. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Wow, a whole whopping four of them. Oh boy. Holy shit, how did you not see me? What the fuck? I, I thought for sure that guy was gonna see me. I completely forgot about that camera. If I'm being completely honest. It's 
It's funny that they like give you these grates, but you can't really do anything with them. Hmm. I remember a lot of these guys having a lot more freaking stuff on them last time I played. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. Alright. Is this the same hallway? No, it isn't. I thought this was the same hallway that I saw that one lady get shot in earlier, but it isn't. A got a recharge station. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah, totally. There's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before I start to feel a little queasy. So let's get down to brass tacks here. We don't like each other. We each have our own motivations for undertaking this mission. So let me give you a little warning. I cannot be circumvented. I cannot be tricked. I cannot be manipulated. And I cannot be bought. You come at me straight and keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I do. <laughs> I like Diego a lot. He's, he's actually a very interesting character. Um, yeah, Diego was the main villain of the first game. He's the one that convinced you to make Shodan. Uh, convinced the hacker to make Shodan in the first place. Um, so yeah, not the best dude. And he kind of got, he kind of went crazy. And he, he ended up turning into like a giant cyborg and shit that you had to fight. Okay. Fuck you. There we go. Okay. James R. Watts. The many things to are we they see you. Yeah, I see you too, man. Run. There you go, you get a good look at what they look like. Bop. Bop. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Grab some armor piercing rounds from you because we'll need them. Unload that. Drop it. Alright. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> Drop it. Lock it. Put it in your pocket. Medical hypo. We want that. A, a liver. They're not dead. They want you, you understand? They want you. As a host, get away. The fuck are you talking about? Oh, fuck. We got a couple of assholes. All right, calm down already. The access code to the conduit is 12451. <coughs> I've got an autopsy at 1630, but let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? All right, so we, now we know the code to get to the, the maintenance shaft. The time is 16.30. Excuse me. Autopsy subject A. Watson. Now we're going to make the first incision in... Hold him down. I'm nurse. trying to... Nurse, I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I like how he's like... When he starts that... He's so... He's so calm. And then he's like... Hold him down. Hold him down. <laughs> he just goes full on, full on bitch mo noise. Your song is not All right. ours. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Lay down. Okay, there's another one of you assholes up here. Oh, there is. You know, it's funny, like, they're like, oh, we w they want to make you a host. Then why are all the freaking hy hybrids trying to kill my ass? Every chance they get. Also, I love how many hybrids are just carrying around <laughs> fucking <laughs> booze. Let me go ahead and upgrade that. Let's 
get on out of here. Okay. So. We are going to want to put on some armor-piercing bullets. <laughs> you will see why in a moment. But trust me. You want the, uh... You want the armor-piercing bullets. <laughs> because, you will not believe this shit, but... Alright, who let him out of his cage? Hey. You're not allowed to be out at this time of night. How many times do I have to tell you? Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. You should have just listened to me. You should have just listened to me. But now, we got a problem. No. <laughs> Lay down. Okay. Two, four, five. Oh, no. One, two, four, or two, three, f fuck. What was it? One, four. Ah, for fuck's sake, hold on. What are you saying? Oh. Lay down, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Don't freaking talk to me, all right? I'm trying to focus here. Uh, all right. Let me see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Maintenance comp went. Alright, calm down already. The access code one, to the two, conduit four, is five, one, one two four five one. I've got an autopsy at sixteen thirty. There we go. Let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? Good deal. Alright. Do not waste time patting yourself on the back. Get down to that shaft to engineering and reset the primary reactor core. <sighs> that will restore power to the elevator and you'll be able to get up to deck four. <clears throat> get going. Okay, so this is where we come across possibly um, one of the biggest uh, difficulty spikes in the game. Once you go down into maintenance, it's real shit. And I, I'm, I'm, I mean that fully. Uh, once you go down here, it is, it is real now shit. On the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This will restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. Alright. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I, I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know, I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Ah, oh, shit. That? Delacroix? Singer? <laughs> Does that sound like Delacroix to you, motherfucker? Does that sound like a sexy French woman? No. Alright, here we go. I fucking hate this part. I fucking hate this part so much. I hate navigating this shit with a passion. Do you have a rad hypo? I'm so sick. <laughs> oh, fuck. Some of, the, some of the dialogue in this game is pretty fucking funny. Ah, stop. Damn it. Unload that. Stop it. A nice. Anti-personnel scatter shot. I will take that shit. Okay. I hate navigating this shit. You must move faster. Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Keep your eyes open for utility storage four. I've laid in some supplies there. The passcode is five nine zero zero four. Five nine zero zero four. The many demands the termination of this exchange. We regret any inconvenience. That's that's storage five. Oh, you bitch. Die. Give me your freaking buckshot, you bitch. Alright. Oh, man. Before I couldn't get rid of those jarheads from the Rickenbacker, 
Now I can't find one for love or money. That creepy OSA guy followed me around for two months until he got the hint. Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. Yeah, you see what I mean by I fucking hate navigating this shit? Anatoly, you must open up the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triop, it's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. And why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? Alright. Yep, you see what I mean? I can't fucking find my way around this place to save my life. Where is the four? Where is freaking storage room four? <laughs> where is it? Radiation hazard. I hate this Are shit. We joined. No. Be quiet, you. I'm not talking to you right now. <sighs> Let me get a red. Let me get a freaking. Hypo. I don't care if you welcome me or not. You're I'm coming! <laughs> Bitch. Okay, there it is. Uh, fuck, what was it again? No, oh, deck, that's deck one. Hold on. Email. You must move faster. Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Okay. Keep your eyes open for utility storage four. four. I've yep. laid in some supplies there. The passcode is five nine zero zero four. Got to get to deck. All now right. Listen carefully. The xenomorphs who have hijacked this ship are presumably from the surface of Tau City Five. Thank God. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They've also demonstrated the ability to control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft, understand them, then kill them. Okay, yep. So, <clears throat> we got a uh, radiation suit, which is going to help us out quite a bit. Especially freaking navigating this bullshit. I'm not sure what secrets you and your new buddy, Captain Diego, have got going up on Deck 3, but I intend to find out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Okay, so this is... This is where we came out from, yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. This is Xerxes. The personnel. To avoid possible detention and execution, please respect the will of the many. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. Ah, right, great. Okay, so we need to come back here eventually. To get into the radiation, radiation. bullshit. Keep your eyes open. You must find a way to purge these coolant tubes and get into the engine core. The ship must have some kind of backup system in place for just this kind of situation. Alright. Yeah, we need to freaking purge this shit. Alright. This is the right way that we want to go. Let me freaking take some med hypos. Yep, this is the right way. Okay. Quickly activate that. Fuck. Is your vision so small that you cannot see the value of our way? Uh freaking many, dude. Alright. Um going to go ahead and swap those out. 
piss off.